Hi guys, welcome back to the Emnots tutorial slash walkthrough. We are now in part 2 where I will talk a bit about the browser and the interface. So, we are directly after having finished the quest here. And now we can see some information about our city. We got one wood, one stone, one metal, and 30 soldiers, and 100 noses. So, a um, nice little thing I will cover first are the medals. You get medals for different feats in the game, like Catherick's right hand. Medal awarded by Catherick, the signers of murder, for killing 12,000 enemy player squads during an era. Seriously, is there anyone left to kill? There are epic ba medals like that, and there are la ladder win medals. Uh, currently, we only got a measly one medal from uh, finishing the quest the Guardian of the City medal. <laughs> it's a start. Now, the next thing is the territories. The PvP islands. It will look somewhat like that. This is the PvP part, and there are the Dream Lords. I uh, corrupt the Dream Lords. I will cover that later. Just so you have seen it. Now there's the army management currently in a. Well, it will probably look a bit different in the later states because we're currently. Devs are currently experimenting with making it look better and more, giving it more space. Previously, it was cut off right here, so you could see way less. I like the changes here, even though they look a little bit well weird because it bulks out there and there. But still, it's cool. Hmm. So now we go. Ah! First, the view help thing which I've talked about before. There's lots of text here. But it's pretty important. Well, it's n not. Yeah, it's good to read it. That's for sure. It will help. Especially if you got to recheck some stuff. Because they're forgotten. Anyway, the browser part. There are two options. Oh. Um. Ah, yeah. I m made a little mistake in my enable in-game browser. Hmm. Apparently, there. Uh, apparently, they made some changes to the in-game browser, making it a lot better. Yeah, awesome. I like it. Ah, reach new Dream Lord rank. That's something you get for every few followers and allows you to use higher gear. What it is will be covered later. Gear, well, I can just tell that right now. Gear is what you equip your Dream Lord to give him stats and stuff. Anyway, so. We now got our Patria. Here's the welfare, which has the basically one important function. You can research new build able land. This increases the amount of housings which you can have, and the amount of housings <coughs> uh, defines how many followers with houses you can have, and followers with houses are those which you can put into your army or put into your buildings or have unemployed. But you don't want to have unemployed people when you can employ them. Pretty straightforward. And apparently we currently got two homeless guys. And over there is the becoming followers ladder. So we got our soul shots here and this is the split items thingy. So we split them in half and going to dissolve some of them. Just so we get some more gnosis. Currently we get a wall. Wow. 25 gnosis from it. That's a lot. From 15 soul shards. Yeah, that's actually really. 
lot. Okay, now we've got a f new nurses and in just a few mo well, just a few moments, maybe a minute, there will be more followers to come. And yeah, if it isn't automatically activated, you can click on the bottom right to turn the advisor function on here. It will help you tell you stuff you got to do. Very useful. But I don't need it. And will will probably just tell me stuff I don't want to do currently. But listening to it basically is a good idea. Okay, now we've... I'm going to talk about a few things down over here. This is the overview. Here you can see what you have been doing in the last time. This is what the conver convergence has been doing in the last time. There you can see if stuff is put into the convergence uh, vault, or however you pronounce that. The convergence is something like clan or geld in other games. There is your nice little death message. <coughs> death message, yeah. Not death. <laughs> that would be weird. Anyway, here you go to crafting, which I will cover later. Later on there will also be another button in between here, the trade one, which is enabled by tagging, and tagging gives you trade points here. As you can see, there, trade point. Well, then there's the conversions. Well, if you've joined the conversions, first you go to go into the recruitment hall and join the conversions. I'm already in one, so I've got a few options here. The good old conversions forum, you can create new threads for your guys in the conversions to read and reply to them. Then you've got the conversions overview, where you can see who is in your conversions and who is the chancellor, what the taxes how many percent of your soul shot gain from missions or in PvP are put into the vault, what your color is, stuff like that. Hmm. And then we got the convergence quests. Yeah, this is... Hey, look! <laughs> yeah, the conversion quests are a long list of quests you got to do with your conversions, basically. They consist of different parts. They, uh, some of them are farm quests, like farm 40 subtle fragment dreams. This is pretty much done. Yeah, this is, well, conversions can have 15 people in them maximum, so it boils down to 3 fragments per player. That's not really much, is it? And then you got some here. This train uh, uses uh, trophies gained by PvP victories. More we'll to the at later on, probably, maybe. <coughs> anyway, uh, there. This one focuses. Yeah, here it focuses on loot thingies, but over here it then focuses on uh, crim stuff created by but. Uh, by the wood industry, well, not really, by the wood building, to get some benefits for the wood building. Same for stone and metal. Then we got uh, three crafting parts here, which I will hopefully explain later. And some pretty new quest line. I'm not sure if this one is even supposed to be visible yet. But it's nice. I like it. <laughs> And it will be really, really awesome. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is an epic quest line, suited for an active convergence, and it will have an epic conclusion down there. As you can see, it requires a whole one million soul shots currently to be complete, to be activated. The last quest down there. It's, anyway, focusing on the... Ah, one last thing. Down there is the market. Mm. 
And yeah, there you can do market stuff because the era just started. Nobody has put something in the market yet except apparently some metal, stone, and wood. Later on, you will see huge lists of different items put in there. I will come back to that later when there's something in. And now we've bridged the time, and we can actually see that there are new guys trying to become followers. And apparently we got two homeless one, but because we have eight housings which provide space for 48 followers, now so we build another house and space the homeless followers become house followers and we can use them. Okay, so we got 27 unemployed here currently. Which what we want to do is put them into the training ground. The training ground is used for unit tax and expedition size. Expedition size determines how many units you can take with you onto a PvE missions mission. So you want to max that stat. And you want to max the research in there. So we are currently putting all uh, 27 followers we have in there, which puts it a little bit over ideal, which you shouldn't do usually, but with the training ground you can, especially if it increases your expedition size to a multiple of 35, because units in game cost 35 basic unit, units. Uh, yeah, so now we are taking those. Luckily, the tech. Uh, one of the basic units doesn't cost any tech points, so they're instant tech. About taking, you click on research over there, click on attack, and then click on research. Well, doing it here. Now we can see an estimated time, how many research per hour is done on that, and how many research points we need. Research point. Uh, Research is calculated in 5 minute amounts currently. So uh, we put another there and um, now it apparently takes 10 minutes to get completed. But that's okay. I can live with that. But I cannot live with taking that first. Because you f should first take Wally. It's a pretty awesome target spell for your scouts. And later on you should target a uh, you should research charge. Mm, okay. That so much for the basics. Afterwards, take all, take all the abilities down. Maybe, t and then focus on the building. Try to get a building tech started before you lock off for the night. That's the most important thing right now. And well. The next followers which you get, you want to put them into the ministry building and start the uh, first land expansion tech. Apparently, because currently we got zero research speed in there, so it will never finish. And we only got 11 more housing spaces. So that's not really much. The tech here should help us that. It gives, I think, 12 or 20, not sure. Not all that sure about that. Anyway. So, they need some time to become followers. And, yep. Now, we have set up the most basic part of our Patria. We have started to uh, training ground research. This uh, should conclude. Well, let me look at the time. Oh. Yeah. Apparently I crashed. Anyway, this concludes the tutorial for now. We Next time we will move in onto the next quest line. Turn in again and yeah, see you then.